Good morning and welcome. Shavua Tov. Thanks for tuning in to Kila Chari Torah's daily counting of the Omer Sphira Sa Omer with some spiritual insights for Sunday, the 24th of April. Last night, Saturday night, the conclusion of Shabbos and Yom Tov, we counted eight. Let's go back a step to Friday night when we counted seven. Friday night, in other words, Saturday day, uh, we, the count was seven days of the Omer. Uh, seven days. Hayom shiva yamim shehem shavua echad la omer. Remember, we set out uh, to have this, this this discussion. We said that we're counting the days and the weeks. Up until now, it hasn't been uh, uh, pertinent to count the weeks so much because there was there wasn't one yet. Now we have seven days, a complete week. So we count both the days and the weeks. Shiva yamim seven days shehem, which are shavua echad la omer. That adds up to uh, uh, one week of the omer. Uh, in your uh, uh, Sphira guide there in the uh, Siddur, you'll see that uh, today, the, 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 the Sphira for Friday night, Malchus uh, Shebechesed. So here's what uh, Hani Jurovel has to say about that. If Yesod succeeded in cementing all the qualities we've acquired in our Chesed so far, it won't just bond us to others. It will bond us also to our best selves. It's through giving that we become more bonded to who we really are, our most noble status, our regal state of being because giving is the trait that most defines our tzalem elokim, being created in the divine image. The privilege of giving is the privilege to emulate God whose essence is giving. God created the world with a singular purpose, she writes, k'day lehetiv, in order to bestow goodness upon his creations. Okay, so there is a uh, discussion here uh, uh, with a uh, little story this week, this uh, day. Uh, and uh, here's the call to action. Here's her call to action for the day, uh, for day seven. This is on Shabbos. Think of a kindness that you did, re- sorry, on Friday. No, on Shabbos. Think of a kindness that you did recently. Mentally review all the details that went into planning and performing the chesed and to all the parts uh, of you that made it happen. Be mindful of every physical, psychological, and emotional part of your being that you used to plan and execute all those details. Realize what a gift it was to be able to be involved in all those ways and to have the chance to be on the giving end as Hashem's agent. Feel that gratitude fill you and consciously concentrate on how amazingly sweet that sensation is. Know that you're tasting and feeling malchus and plan on feeling it more. Wow. Okay, we're moving into uh, the second week now of counting, so let us do that. So for Saturday night uh, and Sunday all day, uh, we should count eight. Hayom shmona yamim. Shehem Shavua Echad Ve'yom Echad La Omer. Today is eight days of the Omer, which is one week and one day. The Sphere Guide will tell you that now we're moving into Givura, uh, the week of discipline, strength. First day, uh, week two, uh, day eight of counting the Omer, Chesed Shabagvura, loving kindness in discipline. In flexing our relationship muscles during Sphira, the first week was spent on, ch- on Chesed, which is loving kindness. The second week focuses on Gevura. Although Gevura discipline might seem to be at odds with Chesed, it's a critical component in allowing us to concretize it. When we love ourselves, we need Gevura, which is discipline to make sure to create that time for self-care and growth and stick to it as part of our schedule. In our relationship with the Kaddosh Baruch Hu, we can have the most loving feelings, but it's the Gevura, the discipline of implementing God's instruction into our daily lives that brings them home and makes them real. Similarly, in our relationships with others, we might have the chesed, we might have that love that can be a beautiful flashlight that illuminates our relationship. But what creates the laser beam of focus and brings depth to the relationship is when we have discipline, acts of chesed, acts of kindness that we do in real time that reflect those feelings. Discipline helps us give in a way that's constant and consistent. Being just that birthday person, the anniversary person, or that when you put me in the right mood person is easier to be, but it doesn't move our relationships too far in a lasting way. Often working with couples who come to see me, I believe she's a therapist, (coughs) uh, with parenting issues, it's obvious that there's a good cop, bad cop dynamic in the marriage. One spouse is having a very hard time imposing discipline on the home. Uh, He or she might harbor fears of it being too tense a household, kids not being given room to grow on their own or being disliked by them. All of those fears are real and need to be addressed. Okay, then she goes into a uh, discussion of it with an illustrative story and issues our call to action for Sunday. Think of an area in your life in which you find it difficult to be disciplined as much as you might want to be. 
Now evaluate how lovingly or kindly you've been treating yourself in relationship to that goal. What does your voice sound like when you tell yourself how to do or be better? Does it sound like you love and believe in yourself? Do you? Once you can honestly say that you do love and believe in yourself and that you want and deserve to improve in this area for the right reason, then see how different that same discipline now, see how different uh, that same discipline sounds and feels. Now you can apply the same difference to disciplining others. Okay, we'll leave it there for today. Please join us again tomorrow. Shavua Tov once again, and have a good week.